So this is my $2 DIY Dollar Tree sign that I made for my, well, I didn't make it. I actually bought it from the Dollar Tree already made, but I'm going to put it together and you will see how super cute this turned out. So I don't know if people are still doing this. Let me know in the comments below, but my bowls are still on my counter. I love them when I see them, they bring me joy. So I am going to leave them sitting there. I don't know if people are still decorating their bowls, but I'm going to decorate mine. I love my Ray Dunn items, all of them, especially my bowls. So when I saw this sign in the Dollar Tree and it was in three parts, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. So that was the $1 item I purchased and the second was crinkle paper and you'll see what I did with that later. So I took this apart, I cut it all apart, dismantle it. And um, I was going to try to cut that with scissors but that board was um thicker than I thought and I probably could have cut it, cut, cut it, <laughs> cut it, but I didn't want to ruin it. I didn't want to, um, I wanted it to be a straight cut. So I just took the saw out. So any, the saw out. So anytime you're using a sharp object, just be careful with the object, watch your fingers and just be careful. I was being really careful. It only took me one saw to get it apart, but I wanted, like I said, a straight cut and I didn't want to ruin it, even though it was only $1. So I already had craft sticks. That's something I just keep on hand, just like I keep paint and, you know, other items to do projects with. So those are the larger um, craft sticks. And um, so I just measured it out how I wanted her little legs. Well, her, her part of her leg and her shoe to stick out of the bowl. And I just measured it out and made a little marking there and I glued that to the back of the stick. And I did the same for both and for both um, little legs little look, part of the leg in the shoe so I did the same thing for both and I didn't the way the um sign fit in the bowl I didn't have to use a craft stick for that so um I just did it for the shoes and the hat because the hat wouldn't stay on top of the bowl so um I use a craft stick for that too so I measured that out the same and I attached the stick to the back with hot glue and I just let that dry. So now I'm gonna just go over to um, the bowls and arrange them how I want them. And so that crinkle paper, that's the second dollar that I spent. So when I was gonna put the crinkle paper in there, I realized that it was just gonna fall down in the bowl. So that was not gonna work. So I remember that I had some black tissue paper that I had from a graduation present. So I just use that, you know, as a filler to, there's the plastic bowls. I just use random plastic bowls to sit the bowls up higher because I wanted that top bowl to be a little bit higher than, you know, I wanted to stack them and I wanted it to be a little bit higher. So you'll see why. So now I, I just put the uh, tissue paper in and I'm going to put the crinkle paper in. And as I was taking the crinkle paper out of the bag, I was like, wow. This crinkle paper with the hat can look like it's her hair. So I decided to pull it down on the sides to, you know, mimic like hair. And when I set that little hat on top, I was like, wow, it actually looked like it could be the witch's hair. So I was like super excited about that. That turned out really cute. So I just went on in with the tissue paper. I just put a little bit on each layer of the bowl just to, you know, give it some little texture and the happy halloween sign that fit right on that bowl um i didn't need a um, like i said a craft stick for that because it just sat right there and it was just perfect so i did use a crinkle paper like i said on each layer of the bowl just to give it some different texture and just to you know make it look a little spooky like i guess and I just put it all, just put a little bit all around the bowl. I didn't use the whole bag because the tissue paper helped me out a lot. But look at these little legs. The legs are my favorite part. So I decided that I was going to put them in a bowl and I was going to put them in like cricket and upside down like she was actually stuck in the bowl. The witch is stuck in the bowl somewhere. Hopefully she can get out by the time Halloween roll around. But overall, this project was so simple and it was so easy to do and it was so much fun to do. And 
when I walk past this little corner of, you know, my kitchen countertop where it's sitting, it just, it's just, just makes me happy. It's just so super cute. And it was just, you know, so much fun to do, like I said, and so easy to do. Um, $2. Who would have thought? $2. So cute. I love it. But anyway, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I would so, so appreciate it. So I'm Shelly. Thanks. Bye.